Well, guys, congratulations. Big win tonight against number 10, St. Cloud State. Just first of all, each of you share your thoughts on how this one ended tonight. Yeah, I mean, obviously it was not the prettiest start. I mean, that's going to happen with every team that goes through what we went through this offseason. But to go down 2-0 uh, and uh, not give up and uh, keep being resilient and uh, keep keep playing to our game and uh, things were down for us. So uh, it's a good good start to the season, but we're already moved on and looking forward to tomorrow night. So Yeah, like Sal said, it's never fun going down 2-0. But, I mean, that just shows the character we have in that locker room. I mean, we battled all off season because we didn't know what was going to happen. So that just shows who we got in the locker room, the coaching staff, and we battled back. And that's what happens when you're as close as we are in that locker room. Questions, guys? Obviously, it's your your, your new coach's uh, first game. You didn't have to, to wait very long to get a win. Um, how happy are you guys for him to, to, to have his first win? It, it's awesome. I mean, obviously, that's a huge milestone for him, and uh, and he's very happy, but – at the same time, it's a team win. It's all, it's all of us. We're all, we're all very happy. So uh, congrats to him, but I'm sure he's already moved on as well and he's looking forward to tomorrow night. So, Yeah, I mean, I'm pumped for him, but exactly what Sal says. We're, we're all one big family, and he would probably say the exact same thing. We're all together here, and that was one huge win for all of us. Did you guys feel like, you know, there's just a little bit to prove with, with the off season, with the stand, you know, you know, preseason stuff and, you know, People wondering what you know the shape of Minnesota State hockey, you know, going into this season. I know it's it's one game and you got to prove it for a long time, but just to have a, a, a win like this right away, does that prove anything extra in your guys' mind? Uh, I think it just proves, like I said before, the character we have. It doesn't really. It's one game, like you said, but uh, I think we can build off that, especially with the guys we have. We're gonna keep building and keep trying to win these big games. Like I mean, obviously, we don't really care whatever anyone else says about us. It's just all of us against them, right? So that's all that matters. Us against the world. I'll ask about St. Cloud. Uh, you guys lost to them three times last year. Uh, they have a San as your season. Um, Lucas, they've ended a few seasons for you. Uh, how did it feel to to get one on them tonight? Yeah, I mean, obviously we, owe, we owed them a couple. Um, and we got them back, but at the same time, it's it's hockey, so... We gotta assume that we're gonna get their best tomorrow night, so we gotta hydrate, get our bodies right, and come ready to go tomorrow. So, Ice, can you take us through the the, the play in overtime there, and maybe just talk about kind of how how you felt three on three was going there? I mean, I know you guys didn't get a ton of chances before that, and then kind of go you know walk us through your your goal. Yeah, three on three is just kind of they were playing a little passive and just staying to the outside, and that was an unbelievable job by Souds, Mo, our whole team, honestly, whoever went just kept them to the outside, didn't give them much opportunity, and then. Honestly, that play would have never happened if Steiny didn't step up and hit Anhorn there. That's that whole goal happened because Jordan Stein met him. That just that's the reason why he wears that letter. It's because he's gonna put his body on the line every single time he can. And I just try to use my speed, and he bit. So I got lucky lucky enough to put that in the net there. And I mean, again, that's all Jordan Stein met there. There was a two nothing deficit, um, and you guys responded. Um, you know, there was more adversity with the early whistle. You guys responded again. Um, uh, how happy were you with the way the guys were on the bench, you know, when the adversity hit tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, most teams, especially in teams in our position, like I said earlier, would just fold and crumble in that situation because it's the first game of the season. That's the number 10 team in the country. We've got a new coach staff, new players, but the same, like like guys has been saying, we're we're a really close team. This is probably one of the closest teams I've been a part of, and we're only one game in, so um, we're only going to get better from here. So uh, I'm excited for the future. I just one more for me. The uh, obviously it uh, it's very early. It's one game, but these non-conference games and pairwise they do end up mattering a lot. How good does it feel to to have one? Uh, you know, being an opponent of this caliber under your belt. Feels pretty good. Doesn't matter till tomorrow, right? Yeah. That's all that matters. I mean, we got one under our belt, but I think we're all we already turned the page. Happy for 10-15. Congrats on coach for the first one, but after that, we're uh, already on the next page here. Yep.